Hey guys, so I wanted to show you um, really quick how to get into the uh, registration, to edit the registration in your student portfolio. So when you log into the EHR uh, Go and you launch your record from the student portfolio link, you will land on the home uh, bar and you will scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on account. And under account, you're going to click the registration tab. And so you will then open up the registration tab and you will go down and there will be an edit box right here and you will click edit. So to save time and make this video very short for you, um, I have already pre-filled out this information and also because every time I pre-fill out forms, all of my actual information um, populates and drops down and I don't want to put that all over YouTube. So. Um, I have um, pre-filled out this information and so that is what you will do. You will change the name um, here if you have these things that apply to you. I know that most of you in my class do not, um, but if you have any of these suffixes that apply to you, you'll put those in there and then you'll fill out your information here. So uh, I just changed my name and then you select um, your gender, your uh, born your biological gender, your sex, and then your gender identity over here as well. So if you identify as a different gender than your biological gender or your sex, then you can um, select that there. And um, you will fill in your date of birth. Uh, the medical record number will be populated for you. If you want to change that, you can for our purposes. I'm fine if you change it. Um, that would be actually helpful. So if you want to change it to a different five-digit number, that's fine. Um, your social security number, as I mentioned in class, please do not put your actual social security number in there, but uh, just make up one. Your marital status, um, language, if you speak more than one, you can separate them by um, a slash, a forward slash, and that will be fine and uh, race and ethnicity. You can put those things in there as well. Your address, city, state, zip, email address, phone numbers, uh, employment status, occupation, all of that stuff there. Uh, any comments that you want to add in there? Only I will see these, so uh, if there's anything you would like to add there, you can do so there. Emergency contact information. Emergency contacts cannot be yourself um, because it's hard to call you if you're the one having a medical emergency. So just keep that in mind there. Uh, also, one thing to keep in mind as you are doing these, and I know many of you have submitted these already and I've uh, commented on those in your Canvas grade posts, um, but if you uh, have not um, if you've gotten these and you go back, uh, gotten a comment and are going back through to resubmit them, make sure that you are using proper grammar as you fill these things out. So all of your proper nouns are capitalized, first and last names, uh, street names, including um, court, street, avenue, boulevard, parkway, all those things are all um, capitalized because they are proper nouns. You want to make sure you are always using uh, appropriate and proper grammar while you are charting in a medical record because this is a legal document. Uh, lastly, provider information. I don't care what doctor you select, pick one from the drop down menu. There's a whole list of them. Uh, so I picked her. And referring provider, pick one. I didn't even pick a rendering provider. You can if you would like. Service location, uh, I chose Central Clinic. Um, you can pick urgent care if you'd like. Central Clinic uh, is the one that we will work from primarily for this uh, course. Your relationship, um, if you want to make yourself the uh, carrier of your insurance plan, that's fine. Or the one who is primarily responsible for your bill, then that's fine. Um, if you want to make it your dad or your mom or spouse or guardian, none of you should have guardians because you're all of age, but um, then you can do that as well. Uh, in my family, I actually am the one who carries the insurance plan on my household, so it's usually me. So once you're all done with that, if you want to, you can upload a photo. Hang on just a second. Got that in there now. There's my picture. And so now that that's all done, I've got everything filled in. I'm going to click Save. 
And now you can see up at the top, it's my picture, I'm the patient, and my student portfolio. I'm going to click Close Session, Saving My Activity. And I'm going to download my work, download this latest session. And it opens it up over here and shows me exactly what I just did. And this is what you upload for me to grade. So just to give you an idea, um, when I'm looking at this, I am looking for all of those things that I just mentioned. So uh, there's the picture that I opened up. Um, and uh, I'm looking for all of the demographics that you should have entered, the phone number, um, and make sure that everything is capitalized and that the address and everything is there, that your emergency contact information is not you, and that you have a primary care provider selected, a referring one if you chose one, um, and that's about it. So 15 easy points. All right. Thanks, guys.